Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. Today I'm going to explain in this tutorial how to use our responsive pop-up. So once it's installed, same thing, you'll find it here in your library. So just drag it to your site and I'll go over the options. Okay, now there you go. So what options do we have? We can change the pop-up background color. We can change the page background color. The, sorry, the page background color, the title text, the body text, title color, text color. You can add an image if you want. You can choose the image width, and then you can choose the top margin. This top margin, it depends if you want like whatever you prefer on your design. If you want it to be a bit more center, a little bit more above the the center or below the center now you'll see what i mean i'm gonna leave the options like this so you can pre we can preview it and we can see this together so oh and another thing as this pop-ups also use cookies so while you're designing it and you're testing it's also meant to be once per user so you if you're viewing this several times you might also need uh, an incognito or private window to view this more times so if it disappears the second time, don't freak out. Use Safari or Incognito Window. Sorry, use uh, use sorry use Incognito Windows or private windows. You can find them in Safari or Chrome. That was what I meant. So I'm gonna preview this. Oh, and what I usually do is I normally place this in somewhere above, no matter where. But the importance it should be. It should also be in the top layers. Here I obviously don't have, uh, just have one layer, but if I had more elements here, this should be also in the top of the rest of the elements. So what I normally do is make sure this is in the top, the top layer, and then I bring the rest of the elements back just to make sure. So you won't have any problem then. Anyways, just preview this. Okay, drag it this. Okay, so remember, just drag it and it's responsive too. Now, I'm going to show you how if I customize it and I add a picture, for example, a photo. Let's add one. Okay, I'm going to add this one and I'm going to lower the top margin and let's say I'll put um, 20 pixels and let's see how it looks. Okay, remember what I told you about not freaking out if the pop-up doesn't appear? Well, this is the case, so don't worry, what I do is just copy this link copy this link and then go file new private window in Safari a new private window opens and it just paste the link here and I'll view it okay so this is it remember I added um, uh, the picture and that I lowered the top margin so this is what would appear so anyways, you can customize it. You can change this background, change this color, do whatever you want, add the picture, make it look nicer than this. Do whatever you want. So if you have any comments, if you have any doubts, please let us know. Uh, you can comment these videos and then we'll answer you as fast as we can. Thank you very much for viewing.